figures in the defoliant fogginess. That is that the that's the sum of what we've been able to discern from our our spotting them, is it? Mm. Would it be too aggressive to put one of them in a pit of shades? Is there any chance is there any chance they're not <laughs> good people? Oh that was one you built, it was enslaved. Is anyone having trouble seeing molasses? I can see him, but he's stopped moving. Mm. He's also stopped and speaking. Can't see him. Yeah, I think he's gone. Good. Good, good, good. Um, Ollie, I've sent you a short-term and long-term goal idea on Discord. Yes. I thought that works out things. Yeah. It's tricky because they're quite... They're a bit vague, so I'm struggling to... Well, I feel, yeah, I feel like the short-term goals, if you make, make them super specific, it's like, yeah, you, you could make a short-term goal that was like, I wish to strike down an enemy with a lightning bolt, and then it's like, boop, done. Uh, but, speaking... Sorry. Go ahead, sorry. No, 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 go on, go on, go on. Um, but they can be quite difficult to do because otherwise, if they're, you don't know what, you don't know what you're going to have the chance to do. Yeah. You know, yeah, so the favorite ones for the are always like get a strike down a champion level enemy, and it's like, well, uh, what if it's mm. not champion? And it's yeah, it's a bit. I mean, I suppose you have to think about the stuff that your character does want to do. Well, that's I prefer to think more thematically. Well, that well, that's that's why I've gone with what I've suggested to you because yeah. they are. Very specific, well, and that's why I was thinking they're very specific to Zuriel, not to um, the mission. I haven't got there, but in the meantime, what are we doing right now. Can I take a short-term action rather than just a short-term goal to deal with these shadowy figures? <laughs> yes, you can. I would like to use the spell Enslave on one of them. Ugh. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. It's, it's what it sounds like, really. I'm going to try and enslave it, basically. Uh, range is medium, though. Do you think we had a decent medium range, do you think? Or a little bit further away than that, do you think? Hmm. Perhaps I could duck into a, a shadow and cast it if someone's closer, maybe. Get in range. What do you think? I would say okay. roll me a stealth test to see if you can <laughs> jump out of sight. Yeah, always. You know me. That's what um, I do. Yeah. Gajabba gajada. A bajada gajada. So I'm just breaking out the character sheet. There you are. A stealth test. I, should, I, should, I always think my stealth's more than it is. It's not that good. Four, 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 do you want a four, two, five, two, three, two? Just do, just do a DM4 four. test and I'll, I'll do it a pose test. But the... Great. The fog. Oh, it's 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 not bad. Yeah, I mean the fog is makes it quite obscure. So yeah, so I, I blink into a shadow close enough to them to cast my uh, enslave spell on one of them, which is a DN five three test. So let's try and smash that out of the park. So you want to five three? You want a shadow step close to them? Yeah, just in enough range, just just uh, just to be close and, and tucked out of the way. It's always I always like being outside so I can. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, if things do go wrong, got the advantage. Uh, here we go. Ooh, five, three, but it's, oh, that's fine, fine. So I can get actually four successes. That's one extra success. So in slave, um, odd success, nothing. Wait, no, here we go. Um, I can issue simple commands such as protect me or follow me, um, and the creature completes the task to complete the task the best of its ability and then defends itself. Um, I can also directly take control of it as well. 
um, as if it was my own fighter. That's more combat related. But for the sake of what is going on here, oh wait, no, of course you should. Oh no, apologies. Of course you have to take a four S soul test. Of course. Um, so you're taking a soul t determination test. Four S. Where... S being your successes. Yes, it must be, which is four. Uh, That's a four four test. It's impossible for me to pass it, so... <laughs> I thought it might be you will-minded will creatures. Cool, well, I, I enslave one of them, and I guess... Hmm. I don't know if it's a simple command, but I kind of like, just like, I wanted to, like, tackle the other one to the ground. That's kind of my... That's kind I of think, my ambition. I think in the, in the realm of, like, mind-controlling enemies, like, friendly fire is always, like, mm, quite, a, quite, a, quite a complicated... Okay, well, you know what? I'll, okay, well, I'll just get—I'll get him to just sprint. I'll just ruin their all their stealthiness. Just sprint at the rest of the group. Well, okay. Get rid of all the stealthy nonsense. Just have him just give up all sense of cover or then get get a closer look at this guy. See what we're dealing with, basically. All right. So you're you're already noticing the rest of the group, but now you notice one of them. You see Malas <laughs> disappear, and then one of them just starts this. Hooded cloaked figure runs towards you, and then Carrick, you obviously hear the the scattering on the on the cobblestones as well. Um, um interesting. <laughs> I would like run and just like stop, basically right in front of you, and just kind of go hello. Uh, yeah, so I think I think Zuriel would um, would would kind of play it cool, um, and um, assuming he sort of stops would sort of turn and walk towards him and um uh and say <laughs> well met my shadowy friend you appear to have broken cover from following us might i ask what it is that you are doing well i'm thinking yeah, the, the command was sprint yes so would they just keep running past well i think i mean if it, i would say it's simple action simple action to sprint 10 feet and I guess. Seems. Yeah, I guess like a single sprint action is like. Yeah, if it's it says if it's in combat, zones, you can take, right? if it's yeah. in combat, you can take like direct action of him and like literally play him as if he, you're him doing it. So you know, I'm kind of going. Yeah. I, think, I think it's not too out of the realm to get him to just let him to stop. And then I think by the looks of things, once he completes his action, it kind of breaks. So yeah, I think he'd pretty much come out of it <laughs> as he was completed his action. He was just like whoop. Fine. So um. Yeah, zero. Is, is, is this, this figure comes uh, screeching to a halt in front of you. Um, kind of the cloak is flown back, um, and you can see protruding from the the hooded cloak is a horrible brown rat-like snout. Mm. Um, and as it sort of glances around, uh, this hunched rat-like creature. It whips out um, two rusty blades. Oh, fool! Squeaks at you as you ask, as you say what you say, and then like <laughs> goes to turn around and run back to its its friends again. Um, um, interesting. In that case, <laughs> it's, a, it's a weird response, isn't it? it, it I mean, it, he is probably a, a touch perplexed. I, I suppose he understands that, that they've been. They've been rumbled. I thought it'd either attack or assume, not kind of half and half. Um, what is he going to do? So, question. so there is. Now they've been discovered. Um, these figures, these Skaven, as you now know them to be, um, will attempt to run from you, and the book has some mechanics for like a chase chase mechanics Ooh. if you wish to pursue them I would say Zuriel's first action is to not have to give an immediate foot chase mm -hmm. um, but so, so he will if he has to but before that he will attempt to uh, knock the nearby Skaven unconscious mm -hmm. uh, by sighing as it turns around <laughs> and then channeling the energy of Sigmar into a purifying blast. Nice. Um, Is that your flashbang? 
No, that's his. Um... <laughs> that's the one where uh, a, a wave of celestial energy blasts the spirits of the unworthy from their bodies. Um, so that is a uh, five three also, which he will use a point of metal to oh, yeah, casting yeah. bonus. Right, so that'll be uh, five successes, and so each enemy in my zone, I'm assuming we're in the same zone, mm -hmm. before he manages to skitter away. Yes. Um, he would have to take a five, three soul determination test, Ooh. or be knocked unconscious. Uh, impossible to pass. Yeah. So, <laughs> turns to my... <laughs> <laughs> It goes like the little little tiny body flies uh, forwards onto its face uh, um, with a squeak. Now this is the interesting bit because some of them are running away, and I'm not sure if we, not sure if we mind about that or not. There's if you've got, two. I mean, Manas is in a decent position to probably yeah. pursue. So Zuriel will uh, just then move to secure his unconscious rat friend and allow molasses and presumably a Rixian. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, upon his wings of golden glory. Well, maybe, or maybe he's been distracted <laughs> by a nearby shop window. <laughs> Perhaps he's floating above us, but asleep. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, the, the little Skaven's incapacitated for um, uh, two rounds. Which I presume would be enough time to secure. A well, I suppose. I suppose. Yeah, Rick hasn't actually spotted the other, the other one yet. I suppose. Yeah. Or I suppose might, he just... they might have noticed what's happening by now. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Well, they got to DM, obviously. Um, yeah. So then, Molasses Carrick, do you give chase as the others run, or no? How? I mean, there were two. How many? How many we talking about? Sorry, it tells what we can see. How many figures? Um. Da, da, da. So actually, you, as you see them disappearing into the mist. Uh, oh no! Wait. Yes, as you see, just one other turns okay. to well, run. If it's, um, if it's one, well, like I like carry guys go first, as I've technically kind of, I suppose, done something. What's Carrick up to? I mean, as soon as he sees that Zuriel uh, attacks one of them kind of assumes that, you know, something's up, because obviously he wasn't seeing them. Um, and, yeah, as soon as he sees one uh, run away, he will give chase. Nice. Zuriel and Molasses give chase. Carrick oh, sorry, and Carrick and Molasses, Molasses give chase. Apologies. All right. Let's get some more tense chasing music. We hop in a little yellow taxi. We say, we're winning this car. Get out of here. <laughs> Official. I thought it was like, follow that rat. Fuck <laughs> that rat. Oh, oh, yeah, that, that too. Okay, right. So, um, welcome to the chase puzzle. Uh, so, you normally start off five zones apart, <gasps> but because Molasses, you shadow stepped to medium range, mm. Mm. Uh, you're only three zones away. Okay, that's an advantage. There we go. So, on your turn, um, you could do one of three actions. Ooh. Um, you can just get my notes up. You can hold pace, which means that you focus all your attention on running through the streets and dodging obstacles and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Which means you keep the same pace as your quarry, um, but you also gain advantage on tests from complications, which will roll every every uh, every round. Okay. You That's can a safe option. Yeah, you can slow down. Um, which means you get further away, but you can do an action. So like use a attack or a talent, whatever. Mm. Um, or you can break off, which means just to, to give up. Oh, I thought it'd be, I thought that would be like a go faster. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> um, um, and then every turn will roll on a table and then it will be like stuff happens, like the Skaven gets slowed down or you just get slowed down or you have to do a test to avoid something. It's fun, I like this. Um, um, well, my natural instinct is to want to slow down so I can shadow step. I feel like I'd be literally taking one step backwards, taking two steps forward. Um, that is true. 
but it's 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 a bit of an interesting one with the fog and the shadows. I don't really know what the viability of that potential is. You'd have to let me know what, what you think I can achieve. Mm. If I was to slow and try and shadow step, and what I can actually accomplish. Does shadow step is that an action or your movement? Shadow step is it's a it's a, it's a free action, right? Well, we're in the defense. You have to be able to show shadow leap. Sorry, is action? If it's only full in shadow, use your move. So you use your move. Okay. So not a full action, but it's a full move action. Because um, you can, you can, because you can shadow leap and then take a free action. So you can do, yeah, you can move and act. Okay, so you can move how far is it? Two zones. It's long range. It's long. It's long range. Uh, what? Why do I... Within long range, yeah. So yeah, okay. two zones probably. So it's probably slow and skip. Yeah. So you can probably shadow step to like a few zones ahead again. Nice. If you do the slow down, and then obviously, yeah, it slows you down as you look for like maybe shadows. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you see something, and then you boop into my cloak and yeah. So you're actually so you're two zones, two zones behind now. Great. Um, and then Carrick, we can just do player turns then. Yeah, I mean, there's not much I can do in this case. There's definitely no action that I can take from here. So I'll just keep up the pace. Okay. Um, and now I need you to roll a 2d6 Ooh. for the complications. 24. Alright, 66. Ooh, 56, that's nice. <laughs> Using all my sixes. 12? Um, oh, sorry, you both rolled. Um, yes. Which one should I take? Oh, sorry, you only got one. Yeah. Take the better one. <clears throat> which yeah. is the better one? The one 66. where we like find Sonic shoes and get extra speed. All right, twelve yeah. then. Uh, so as you're running through the streets, um, you see a group of children playing with marbles in the street. Spot, I killed them all. Spot the approaching Skaven and sc scatter the glass beads in the rat men's oh. path, laughing as a Skaven tumble head over claw. <laughs> um, Fool. Yeah. That's so. Hilarious. So all hunters within three zones of the quarry must make a DN five two reflexes test. That's you, my lasses. Oh, do I have reflexes? I do have one in reflexes. Nice, good for me. <laughs> Remember, you can five do two. you can do metal with this as well. Yes, so five two. So I have to wait. How do I still not know this off by heart? So it's five two. So I've got to get two fives. Yes. Cool. So I've already got more. So I want to add. Yeah, with metal to do it, so I double my, double my training, so that'll mm. give me another. I've got one, I've got one training, so that'll be another. That'll be another dice. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. Cool. Out so bonus five. Dice. Total DNS five. So I give myself a bonus of one. Sounds right. Ooh, that's good. Well, I feel yes, like you dodged right. those marbles. All right. Oh yes. It's from a lifetime um, of marble dodging. <laughs> So you actually gain two zones Ooh, on, your, on, that, right? on, on your quarry. So you're pretty much yeah, in the same zone already. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Huntress. Well, that's me. Um, yes, it's next round. It's your turn again. Okay. <laughs> everyone's, uh, everyone's watched Black Books? No. Ah. I know of Black said... Books. I'll send you the clip. It's the best Bill Bailey clip in the world where he's chasing a mugger. It's very, very funny. I'm worried this could be about to happen. But, um, okay, so I get, I'm close, I guess. So, I guess in the class I haven't thought what I do when I get there. <laughs> I haven't got any like, good subduing tactics. Um, Fine, you're a dog chasing a car. That's it, pretty much. Um, you can uh, do well, the, well, well, grapple, well, well, the grapple move. Yeah, I'm not very strong, though. That's true. Can I, okay, it's just one of them. I'm gonna. Can I, can I, I want to put them in a pit of shadows. That's a good way to like incapacitate people, basically. Just trap yeah. them in the the old Loki, Doctor Strange ever ever falling pit. Yeah, shut. Yeah, go ahead. I just slow down and cast. And cast pit of shades. Mm -hmm. Cool. It's a five three test. Um, da -da 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 what I need to do? Yeah, you have larger, small creature. I'm sure that's fine. Great, cool. Um, is this technically a new round? Can I use metal again? Is this technically a new? Uh, yeah, yeah. Cool. Love that. I'm gonna do that on a. I'll give myself. 
more focus. I'll give us an extra point of focus, I think. Cool. Here we go. Five. Oh, it's nice. That's a lot of focus points. Yeah, that's easy. That's four successes. That's great. Whew, nice. We're on a multi day. Uh, cool. So that's four successes. So, yeah, I plop him in a pit of shades. So he is now falling. Nice. Uh, for, well, technically three, three rounds, whatever whatever that translates as. Fine. So um, the Skaven and the marbles just start <laughs> <laughs> falling in this pit. Um, nice. Enough time, catch enough time for character catch up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we wait by the pit until it stops falling. Um, when <laughs> when he stops falling, um, and he just falls, he takes damage number of rounds out of the pit of shade. So he takes. Wait, actually, it was four successes. It actually takes yeah two. He takes two damage from right. landing. Yeah, and must also take a four S mind determination test. So that'd be. For four, mind determination to see if he's frightened of me for one day. Uh, yeah, can't put, can't pass it. <laughs> so now he's afraid of me as well. This is great. That was great. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> That's great for interrogation, now, right? Because now he's afraid of me. Mm. Um, and frightened. I know you can't move closer to them. And then you're reduced. Roll one less die for test if you're in line of sight. So cool. yeah, does somebody want to? Is somebody going to grapple him now? Or? Yeah, well, now he's now he's going. Well, yeah, once he's stunned, I'll, I'll yeah leap on his back and put a knife to his throat. He's not stunned; he's frightened. Well, yeah, well, but, you know, he's landed flat on his front. So while he's on the ground, I'll grapple him while he's on the ground. Once he's landed, basically. All right, roll me a might test. Oh God. <laughs> I mean, I thought you were going to get character to do it, to be honest. Yeah, no, yeah, no, well. no, we do that. We do that. Yep, absolutely. Yep, yep, we do that. <laughs> Good point. We do that. I brought my muscle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Done the leg work. On the leg. Right, the muscle. might. Yeah, might oppose test. Yeah, so that's okay. three sixes and two fours with one focus, so four, five, and three sixes. Yeah, okay, so um, with his minus one, because Scary Molasses is right there sharpening her blades, um, <laughs> absolutely cannot oppose that. So yeah, you managed to like pin, pin him down, maybe with your hammer over him or something. Um, I sit on him. <laughs> <laughs> nice, and that is the end of the chase puzzle. Nailed it. Yeah, I can't believe Wait, that was. Uh... Hang on. We caught some rats. And, and Daryl sat on them. And Daryl sat on Daryl sat on a rat. Indeed. Um, yeah. So you are now. I think you're a good five six zones apart. Uh... Oh yeah, what was that? I think zero. I think how long did you have them knocked unconscious for? Was it two rounds? Uh, yes, it was two rounds. All right, so your one is probably going to start waking up soon. Um... It was a short chase. Pardon? Zuri will have wanted no part of the running. <laughs> yes, Lazy. now we'll just start fighting. You can teleport as well, anyway. Could have done. <laughs> did consider it, and then thought. Not really to Uriel to teleport around all flashy like to chase some rats. Not, there's no dignity in it. <laughs> Alright, so who's gonna do something with their prisoner first? Uh I think when um when Zuriel's wrapped little rat friend um comes around he'll come around to having been bound by something and have Zuriel sort of leaning over him but not in a sort of obtuse or especially imposing way and just say oh I uh, asked you a question uh, now that you're back in the realms of the conscious what is it that you are doing following us
well now 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 it is uh, regaining consciousness so i have a, a text box to read you the battered skaven snap and snarl beneath his ragged robes hissing and scrabbling in an impotent animalistic fury the stench of sewage soaked fur and pungent musk is enough to make you gag their twitching gaze darts between you and the gathering crowd as their panicked breathing increases to a fevered state of hyperventilation. <laughs> um, so sorry, what was the question you asked it? Uh, why, uh, why are you following us? Um, it says... Um, should have practiced my Skaven voice before I started. <laughs> what uh, I'm waiting for. <laughs> and this is this is the smallest the one smallest as well. This is this is the runt skin a skin. Um He says No no, please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Yes, yes. I was taught to follow you. Uh yes, that's very helpful. As you can see, uh I haven't hurt you yet. But uh, uh you you know, you are you are safe in my care, it's as long as those rusty knives stay where you uh, stay where you left them. Who is it exactly who uh, sent you to follow us? Um, give me an intimidation or guile test. Uh, uh, we'll go with we'll go with guile because he's not he's not behaving in an intimidating manner, especially. Um, Especially, he's not that guileful. Probably mm. not more guileful than a Skaven. Uh, what was the DM? Um, so, I, well, I think you can choose whether you want to do a four or a five. Um, I can choose the DN. Well, I like this system. <laughs> I mean, bigger, bigger, uh, sort of higher risk, higher reward. Um, mm. But let's start. Let's start with the falls. I think that's supposed to be the. Well, it's a good roll. It's mm. three sixes. Nice. All right. Um, okay, fine. So uh, maybe this, maybe this gave an, um hyperventilates less at your calming voice, and it kind of glances around, um, especially like in the direction where his friend ran. Um, and sort of at the sort of like a crowd of people now like around you, sort of like staring open mouthed at the, at the skaven creature on the floor. Um, and it says, um, "It says you want to help Silverneth. You want to help Tree Things. They are our enemies. Yes, yes." I can see how that might put us at odds, my little furry and repugnant friend. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and just like, no, no, no. Um, well, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, he says, um, I believe that my comrades in arms will have apprehended your fellows by now. You couldn't believe that they'll be uh, treated with all due respect and minimal violence, I'm sure. Uh, perhaps you will wish to see them again. Um, it kind of shake, shakes its its snout. It says, no, no, I cannot for stick it. Stick it is mean. Stick it hurts me. Ooh. Kill, kill him. Yes, yes. I will give you more information. 
Um. <laughs> well, one of my, uh, I wouldn't want to say friends, but one of the people I travel with is, uh, known for their bloodthirstiness, and, uh, it's quite possible that, uh, Snicket might, might meet a grisly end. But, uh, this can't possibly be arranged without that information, you see. Otherwise, it could be you who meets that grisly end at the, the hands of my rather bloodthirsty friend. It, it cowers again and says, No, no. Uh, Krell will tell you all information it knows. Snicket will just lie. Snicket will try to kill you when your back is turned. Krell oh. will be your friend. <laughs> now. I'm, I'm sensing the two guards. Yes. <laughs> one always lies and one always tells the truth coming up right here. <laughs> now, I know that um, it's highly likely that being a little, a little uh, sort of self-serving, survival-focused little little rat this is but what, um, what what impression does Zuriel get um, from from the rats does he does the rats seem to be I don't know seem sincere or is it all just lost in the sort of skaven blathering give us a 4-2 intuition test 4-2 you say And what Carrick and Molasses, uh, with your Skaven, you're restraining it. Um, how are you? How are you? How are you? How have you restrained it? Carrick's just muscling, isn't he? Yeah, Carrick would be holding it down, but if if he sees that it's possible to drag it back, uh, he'll try to do that. Unless it's like literally impossible, like it's fighting back too much. Yeah, it's literally like if you're holding it down with with your hammer, it's literally like grabbing onto it and trying to gnaw it to kind of <laughs> escape. Well, that's um, fine. He's, he's away. We we're aware that Carrot, the Zero got one pinned down, so I think separating them is always a good interrogation fine. tactic. So Zero and Molasses are pretty happy to um, keep them separate, especially yeah. schools. Um, Although normally you, know, you don't separate the interrogators. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's true, but we're not. We don't have the facilities. We're not in the like a yeah, back room. Yeah. Where's my Where's my Vox bead? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you also have some. You also have some people like surrounding you, you as well with your with your prisoner. What look, looking at horror as it tries to like gnaw through the hammer's shaft and Carrick's arm and. Right. Well, <laughs> molasses cast an illusion of like I don't know um, a, a, a police cell. <laughs> there you go. Two-way cast, mirror. You there we go. An illusion of a police cell. Yep, that's it. In so people can't see us. Yep. You think of a... <laughs> a giant peach? Okay, <laughs> well, some of us. I if if if, if, it's, if there's a concern of people being disturbed, lasses tuts and sneers and just waves her hand and uh, yeah, some kind of whatever, some ramshackle barriers appear above them so they can't be seen by the the outside gawkers. That's going to help, and perhaps the dark ones. In fact, like the dark ones. Anyway, it's fine. He's still, he's always terrified me. All good. Um, yeah. You... So that, that's well. That's all I wanted to know before jumping over to back to, to Zero. Oh, right. Just just to know if you were you were on your way or, or not. No, no, we're staying. But um, yeah. So you, yeah, Zuriel, you um, into it. Uh, as usual, everything in the vicinity. Um... <laughs> it's fair. It was an exceptional intuition role on this occasion. Maybe he really does. <laughs> Yeah, Maybe he um, sees sees these facts in the ether. <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe you've you've interrogated captured Skaven before. You've had dealings with them before, but um, you know that they yeah you know that they're entirely self serving. They'll do anything to save their own skin, including betray their other Skaven types. So there is a potential that they lied to you just to get set free. Um, but I think, I think you know it's worth asking anyway, just to see what they they come up. And then, even if one in ten things is true, it's gonna it's gonna yeah. help you, right? So, so 
So yeah. Okay. Um, I lost the thread of where he was at. Yes, he was going to. He's going to tell me everything. Yes. <laughs> ah, great. <laughs> that, that's uh, that's very helpful of you. Uh, what was his name? What was his little rat's name again? Uh, Krell. That's uh, very helpful of you, Krell. You can uh, you can explain to me what your schemes are and and how uh, Snicket's might betray us on the way. You'll have between the time from now until we get there to tell me everything you know. Where are you taking him? Uh, in the direction of the of the hunt of the chase, uh, presuming that he could probably follow the the wreckage and noise to the, wherever they got to. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, and having having set this Skaven a, a perilous deadline. <laughs> yeah, it, it sort of squeaks in panic. Uh, you kind of like just drag it with your big Sigmarite gauntlet kind of thing. Um, so do me a do me a, a do me an intimidation, but I'll let you use. Have an advantage on that, so that's just a four-two. A four-two, not a strong one for me. Intimidation, apparently not intimidating at all. <laughs> Stupid soul. Absolutely nothing I can do to buff it. Alas, maybe it'll happen anyway. So fair. <sighs> no, sadly not. Okay. Um. Okay, so um, it starts yammering and chattering and talking all this this stuff um, about how uh, they were sent to follow you and that's all they were really that supposed to do and it's just because you were uh, uh, spotted with the silver nest so you, uh, they wanted to just keep an eye on you, see what you're up to, um, if you go to like try and thwart their plans or not, and then it starts muttering about. Um, says the name it says the name but you can't quite catch it um, but they were saying like oh of course of course he would he has the big brain yes yes with the best plans he would he would see this coming he would not let me die no no mm. um yeah and then he says um He says Krell can can lead you to the lead you to the sewers, lead you to the the rest of the Skaven. You can kill them all, yes, yes. I'm wondering <laughs> if they have like an, a word for Stormcast, like a Skaven slang term. I'm sure they do. Because oh, they call, would have been they in call that book. humans like man things or something. Man things. I'm sure they just call them something like shiny man things. Yeah. <laughs> Storm man things. Um I might have to delve back into uh, Storm Vault. Oh, they're called Storm Things. Storm Are things. they? Storm Things. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Storm Things kill Skaven, yes, yes. Um, uh, 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 great. Well, he, he just sort of, you know, <coughs> nods um, uh, and says, it, uh, it may not come to uh, heading down to the sewers to be ambushed by all your thousands of brethren uh, but uh, perhaps you will lead us to the uh, entrance to the sewers anyway until then your uh, time is ticking as we uh, we approach my allies and your uh, former allies who I'm sure will be most pleased at your offer to uh, support a purge uh, it's like eyes bulge with fear uh, as it says, ambush! No, no, they don't know you are coming. If you kill Snicket, Snick only I will know that you are coming. This guy sucks. <laughs> I love him. I mean, oh, finally, an NPC you hate who I don't mind if you kill. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> no, you know, in like in like an awesome way, he absolutely sucks. Like he's just like the worst. Yeah, but just like, awful little that bastards. You, that's so that good. The way you can't yeah. love them. like. <laughs> Just assholes, <laughs> and they're they're like they're, they're the reason why they call everyone 
thing is because their like fundamental cultural idea is that only Skaven are sentient. Everyone else is just like. It's not clear whether they're, they're, they think they're spent figments of the Skaven's imagination or whether they're just like animals. Yeah. But like everyone else is just sort of like not really important. If you're not Skaven, it's just like you're an oddity. Your food or you're just an obstacle, yeah. Yeah, they all think they're like geniuses and super smart schemers. Yeah. That's funny, I love it. Come oh, to yeah. think of it, I think uh, Mikey P would play a really good Skaven. <laughs> well, I used to have, well, it was the only army I ever had in Warhammer was Skaven. So I, didn't re I never really thought about the character of each individual Skaven. So I always thought they'd be a bit more noble and a bit more... I don't know why. Just because they, they seemed quite cool, but I never really thought about them as being... Like the Skaven Kool-Aid, that's why. I think yeah. so. I was on board. It was the it was the one he had like two two daggers and then his tail had a dagger. I was like, that's mm. fucking cool, man. Oh yeah, yeah, man. That's very cool. Man. I actually think I might have that model. I got given some random Skaven oh, for my exactly. birthday last year, and I've sort of forgotten about them. It's the only stuff I've ever painted. I'll, I'll take a picture for you so you can see just how it is. Nice. Um... Yeah. Uh... You can run me another intimidation test uh, as you get closer um, towards your other friends. Um, um, it's just so not intimidating. I'm just wondering if there's another angle he can take with, uh, with, with the little rat. But um... well, you're you're trying to threaten him at the moment. That's what at the moment, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, okay, let's turn this into not yeah. a threat. Maybe um, like maybe like one last ditch, like yeah, like a change change of tack. I think um, where good cut. I think he will. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think he'll um, instead of threatening him, he'll just say, "Now nah, look, it uh, it doesn't have to go this way of uh, sending the uh, stormcast down to to purge the vaults and." Nor do we necessarily need to hand you over to uh, snicker it. But perhaps there's a perhaps there's a way that uh, you actually get out of this situation unscathed. <laughs> uh, unscathed. Mm. Yeah. Um, so I will do you a deal. If you furnish me with information that is useful, I will guarantee your safety. Some like random person is like in the crowd, being like, "What? No, I'll fucking kill him! It's disgusting!" <laughs> <laughs> they try to kill our city. <laughs> um, fine then. Roll me a roll me a, a final guile test. Guile, guile, do do do. At the end. Um, do DM four again. I could the advantage for. A good reasoning. Oh, just a piddly two successes. Right, that's just enough to learn <gasps> one thing. Um, um, so he confirms to you that there is a uh, a laboratory in the sewers. Ah. Oh. Skaven laboratory run by Uzik Smolderhide. <sighs> Is his boss? Now then. Wait, sorry, I must say he gave up the name of his boss. He just said you guys know. Hmm. Did he just give up his boss? Is that what he did? Yep. Mm. Cool. Um, Mr. Well, thanks him for his uh, information. Should this information prove to be accurate, your safety will in fact be guaranteed. <laughs> Read the small print, asshole. <laughs> uh, and uh, yes, he continues trudging on towards where the chase presumably, presumably led. Fine. So we after, after after shooting a, a glare, a merciless glare at the person in the crowd who uh, <laughs> who spoke up against him. <laughs> 
fine. So, um, Arixian, we assumed you were waiting behind with right. Tel Telari. <laughs> Carry on. But what would you like to do at this juncture? Uh, <clears throat> this, I mean, there, there's not much to do, is there? The, we've, we've got the... Uh, we've apprehended these Skaven. Um, Just like positioning Who, who else apprehended the... the I'm assuming, because I missed this, I'm assuming that the, the, the figures turned out to be multiple Skaven on top of each other with a long coat over the top. Um, um, just just the two Skaven, but Molasses and Carrick ran after... So Molasses enslaved one, made it run towards Zuriel, who then captured it. And then Molasses and Carrick gave chase <laughs> after the final one. So Zurich, Zurich, Zuriel is going to join the other two with the, other, with the prisoner, so... I don't know if you if you join them with Telari yes, or Tel. I doubt that uh, you know is going to like speed off after the 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 running away ones. We've got if we've got uh, got a prisoner, he would he would gravitate towards Zerial and Fine. find out what's going on. Fine. Would you like to ask any questions? Um. Well, I, I was. I didn't want to interrupt before, but I, I, I think I probably would have, on reflection, if I'd been there at the beginning of the of the encounter, probably would have just had Erixion kind of be shoulder to shoulder with Zuriel to make maximum intimidation power. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, let's imagine that I was there at the time and and didn't. I don't have anything else to add, given that Erixion is aware now that we've got that information. Fine. Um, yeah, yeah. He did, Zuriel did, did uh, fail. I think some tests as well. So there could be some stuff left. But well, yeah. I mean, I, I was sort of thinking that I might try and where Arixion was, where Zuriel was being a good cop. I thought I might try and be a bad cop at one mm. point. Um. Yeah. Uh. My, he, sorry, yes. So let's take a sort of slight mute your microphone, molasses. All right, lathering about it. with your plates. I'm done a, now. A slight time jump back to um, the interrogation, uh, and have Erixion say something along. Once, once the, is it Krell uh, offered mm -hmm. up the the name of the their their sort of boss? Yep. Um. Let's have Erixion um, kind of press him a bit and say, well, you know, um, my my Stormcast brother here is has a tendency to be forgiving. I do not. You can give us a name, but you know where he is, don't you? And you know who his allies are, what his strength he has, how we can get to him. You must tell us these things and you must tell us them now. Um, uh, and just kind of brings his mask really close to the little rat boy as he says this. Mm -hmm. um, and my intimidation role is actually not too bad, but I also don't do dice good, so we'll see. Uh, so this is five, five chance cubes. Uh, well, shit. <laughs> it's not a good enough <laughs> roll on its own, but you do have the two magic words. Metal. That's one word, Mikey. <laughs> Try again. I'd better myself. Well, was that? Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> of course, they are indeed magic words. Um, 
Yeah, so it just makes it an opposed uh, test instead. Um, yeah, so I fail the test, and then instead I'll do a miracle where it, 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 like, essentially he asks again, but with like scary Dune voice. Um, <laughs> and uh, and yeah, so we do an opposed soul determination test uh, versus my soul uh, devotion. Yeah. Well, it actually says that uh, it automatically works. It even says, I've burdened thyself. <laughs> you, you can use it to just reveal information. What? That's not the description I've got right here. No, I mean, I think it's a special uh, for this case, I think. <laughs> oh, I see. That's nice. Yeah. I haven't come across that yet with any of these talent abilities. Yeah, I guess because um, it's it if, it, if it's going to work, it's going to work on these little shitty little <laughs> <laughs> chaos worshipping skaven. In which case, uh, yeah, so Rixion tried just being scary and like, and then, the, I was like, yeah, I told you, no, no. And then he was like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, then magically. Uh, so the, the 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 effect is the target feels better it, for for speaking. Creature must truly answer truthfully answer a number of questions equal to the difference in successes. Um, or under the circumstances, Ollie's just given presumably just has to tell me everything it knows. Mm. Um, and it also feels nice and more amicable towards me, and I have advanced on advantage on any opposed test for interactions with it for the rest of the day. If it lasts that long, if if it does indeed, yeah. Although they're oh, they're sort of like play. forces of chaos, right? So I imagine it just burns him instead, does it? I don't know. Either way, either way, it starts singing like a canary, um, mm -hmm. and 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 molasses and carrot. You probably hear this now as they're getting closer. Well, um, we've been sort doing, of like, we've been chilling. You've been Apparently sat on this this gnawing. Aggie, can we not, Aggie's gave up. Can we not have interrogators? You could have, um, but let me just uh, give a Rixia his, his his bit, his pound of sure, flesh. Sure. Um, no, sure, sure. So it starts chattering about uh, Uzik Smolderhide, um, and it tells you that it's developing a new, uh, what it's it's calling a plant rotter. Um. Which is what you work out is what they call the defoliant. Um, and it says he's developing an improved version which is specifically designed to kill the Sylvanith. Why though? Why do you hate them? I mean, you could, you could ask that question as well if you want. I, I'm, I have a feeling what I know what answer we'll get. <laughs> yeah. um, why? Yeah, it, it, <laughs> there you go. That was why? It. Why do? <laughs> why do? Uh, it just starts like uh, frothing and spitting and talking about some some uh, plans that the clan had years ago that was thwarted by the Sylvaneth in in battle um, in a different in a different place. Oh, what was it called? something grove anyway it's it's in the same realm but it's a bit further away but yeah so by way of revenge they heard about the they heard about the defoliant all of them. they heard about the defoliant and they wanted to come and, and learn to weaponize it basically okay. uh well uh, such as it is necessary, Erixion immediately relays this to the rest of the party. Mm. Um, this pretty much gives us well, more or less a full understanding of, of the mission now. But it's always possible that this uh, it's always possible that uh, that this mouldy flesh, fire mould whatever his name is um, could be in the pay of, of other masters also. We must investigate. Stamp out these filth. 
Yeah, and as uh, as Snicket can hear Krell spilling his guts, he just starts like yelling at him and calling him stupid pink nose, <laughs> wretched soft claw. Shut up! Shut up! You've been pink nose. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was our one Snicket? Was his? I thought I thought Snicket was ours. His. Yeah, Snicket's yours, but as because he, he can hear Krell divulging now. Yes, fact. Um, and doubles its efforts to try and like get away. <laughs> and Krell just like cowers. As it sees Snicket. And I think I think uh, I think I think Krell like claws at you, Zuriel. It's like quick, kill him, kill him now. Yes, yes. Here's a danger to you. <laughs> Sorry, else like I'm texting. Leave me alone. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> uh, so, is there is there any point in us interrogating our game, or are we going to kind of get the same information? I think we'd get less, to be honest. You think? I mean, this guy seems to be the. Uh... Sort of like, like the enraged leader who wouldn't easily have all this information. Mm, that's a good point. That's a good point. You can try. Well, I'm I mean, him down anyway. Yeah, but he's done. He's, he's frightened of me, so I feel like it's you know. Um. Why? Okay, I'll, I'll ask the big. We'll ask the big questions. Um. You know, why are we here? Is there a god? All those big questions, and then we'll ask. Um, basically, we're trying. We don't. We don't know. We, we've got to interrogate. We, there was a long pause where we wouldn't have known what they were doing, so we need to get out of them. So, yeah, we'll go with. Uh, who's Joe said to you? Why are you following us? Um, what uh, What do you know about the the this this fog and all the the, the death of the uh, the Sylvan F? These are the questions I'll ask, and I'll leave it up to DM to decide if there's new information that's given to us. Uh, well, you got to roll me a guile or a intimidation oh. test. More than happy to. If he's frightened me, does he, he get disadvantage, or I get advantage, or does it make a difference, or is it just... Something like that, yeah. Something like that. All right, I'll right, guile test then. Something like that. What's the DM? Uh, four. Four. Lovely. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's four successes. Yeah. Um, so, again, mostly refuse. Krell, uh, sorry, Snicket mostly refuses to answer any questions and tries to get away. Um, but I think it also snarls like Krell has already told you this information. I would kill, kill us both before he gives away any more secrets. I cut off a toe. Does that uh, help? Does can, it help? can Orixian see this happening? <laughs> no, we just not even got there yet. No, they have got there. Oh, well, what were we doing before they got here? We were just sitting. Okay, fine. You could have a separate conversation. I d- Rewind <laughs> time again for the second, for the third time. No, I don't need to. I only. Need- Sounds like we wouldn't get much out of him, but no, I, not I, really. I, I do. Um, yeah, I do stab a. I do stab a, a knife into the ground and just sever one of his toes. God, thank. <laughs> okay, so it does let out Talking some. Now. It does. It does let out some information that they're great. They're part of what they call the virulent procession, Ooh. and they came Long to Apple Gardens. Risk even. I know, right? <laughs> Ideas of grandeur, surely. <laughs> um, yeah, you you learn that they came to the city uh, to bring to kill the Silver Death, sure. to experiment on them uh, with their new defoliant. And the rest of the time, so I get spent in just moaning and refusing to talk. Hmm. Mm. I think it even starts. It starts to like gnaw on itself to escape. Like however you've trapped it. A city on Carrax. Carrax so. <laughs> I don't know if going north through, but that's pretty gross. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to north through Carrick. 
Would it actually be in North Thru? Like, I, I, I thought it would be in like, you know, some special material or something. That can't be gnawed through by a rat. <laughs> uh, it's, a, through it's a magic chaos, chaos rat. What it's, a, it's a talking rat. My lord. All right, so you are, but it's no proof. <laughs> snapping back to present day. Lovely. You are now all together with your two prisoners. Did Krell agree? To lead you to the sewers? I can't remember. Yes, he did agreed. offer to, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well then, we have a... We have had a successful discussion on the way here. Molasses, I see there is blood on the floor, so it seems that you... Also had a discussion. The only way, only way I know how. Excellent. Remind me never to hold any discussions with you that are not strictly necessary. I would remind you frequently. <laughs> I don't know why one would. <laughs> um, before we... Like... Before we depart, should we find uh, if the, the, the city militia can uh, keep these rat creatures uh, under lock and key somewhere? Other than other than our august companion Krell, of course. I would hate just for snick it. It's just snick I would it hate snick for it. molasses to have to kill them purely for convenience's sake. Yes, now that would be awful. I'd hate that. Uh, I'm sure we can flag down some of the local militia. This uh, Skaven would certainly be more useful to us alive than cut into little pieces for the sake of molasses yeah I think um, tastes I think whilst this has gone on there's been enough uh, commotion for city guard to have already like the free guild to have already joined the crowd and forced their way to the front and seeing obviously that they're stormcast uh, dealing with it they kind of didn't interrupt but um, <laughs> they just stood there like um, just trying to keep people back you know like, <laughs> nothing to see here and then um I guess when you say that, like one, like the, a sergeant or something, like. like well, gee, short. sure, we <laughs> love to put him in the jail. <laughs> he, uh, he like, he draws. Beds around here. A oh, skaven. <laughs> oh boy, he uh, he draws his sword. It's like, I I'd put in this vermin into our into our prisons just to attract his mates. We have orders to kill on sight these creatures. Orders from whom? Orders from the captain of the Free Guild and the Grand Conclave. I see. And do they outrank the God King Sigmar of Held and Hammer? <laughs> and then he opens the fucking lantern, because of course he does. Just to just to have a, not to kill him, obviously, <laughs> not doing the actual light of Sigma, mm -hmm. but just to to underline the intimidation. Fine. Uh, go along now. Go along now. What would the DN be for that intimidation? Uh, is it a protest? Is it? Oh no, I'm not doing the unburdened myself. Oh, okay, you just took intimidation. I'm just trying to intimidate him into not killing the Skaven and putting him in, them in the jail instead. Yeah, it'll be um, DM4 and then I think I have to do a, an opposed anyway. Oh, there's a stat block for a free guild guard. Excellent. Well, three successes, quite good. Um, solid, solid start. Let's see if uh, yeah, it's a plus one for determination. Let's see if I can beat you on three dice. Nope. Uh, 
Uh, so I think everyone froze for me there. Yeah, you froze for a second. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think yeah the guard um, the guard like lowers his his blade. He says, uh, "Sigma, you say? Uh, no, I don't think we outrank him here in Admiral Guard." <laughs> <laughs> but I'll, simple people. I, well, I will. Don't think I need to warn you, Stormcast Eternals. But when you see one Skaven, there are normally not just the one. Yes, there were two. <laughs> there are normally more than two. No, nope, there are normally two. hundreds no. beneath our feet. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, well, you should clean I... up your city more then. <laughs> Despite my colleagues' comments, we uh, we commend your caution on behalf of the citizens of Amblegard. Uh, but you can leave the the other Skaven, should there be any, to us. Good day, Constable. <laughs> Good day, Constable. <laughs> I'm a sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Break it down to the ranks. Almost. All right, fine. Um, so they march off with Snicket. Um, you hear like some yelps as it tries to gnaw through the guard's hands. Mm. Fuck it out. We have to like restrain it with metal um, cool uh, I think Krell says to you so early, like, no no you must you must kill stick it kill kill him weak weak mad thing weak stop thing <laughs> I respect your way of dealing with things little rat man but uh, you've got to learn to work as a team you're part of the group now I assume, I assume he's now a permanent member of the party um Yep. So you have yep. to Introducing our with... fifth player. Yeah. <laughs> you have to work with these storm things. They like to uh, do things in a nicer way. And sometimes they get results. So, you know. We're not weak. We just play differently to you in the dark. No, no, weak. Well, if Krell was big as Stormcast, Krell would kill us even. Perhaps, Krell, you will have your wish when you are the only Skaven remaining in the city. You'll be the strongest Skaven in Amblegard then. Ugh. It's just like grins. Like doesn't even understand why that's bad. It's just like... <laughs> to have that title would be more than it could ever wish for. Um, I, th I think at this point Zoriel just starts to sort of in enjoy the... <laughs> the sort of, like... When you're insulting someone but they don't know it, uh, <laughs> and sort of say, like, "Come on, come on, mighty Krell, we shall take take us to the sewers, and you shall ah, uh, you'll be so powerful." Uh, I can't wait until he just gets stabbed in the face in the first battle. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Um. Fine. So. As the knowledge of uh, Skaven presence in Emblegard spreads, and the sight of a Skaven leading Stormcast around, uh, doom is increased by one. Oh no. To four. You had Jesus. four doom. Jesus. Um, but he does lead you to. Um, Walk, How much did uh, we with start holiday. with, and where did we get the increase in doom? You started with zero. Yeah. Wait, it was relatively recent. The last one wasn't it? Wasn't it? Was it not after we? No, we, we let the um, doom went by one hour one once we let the, the 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 relic behind. I'm sure, didn't it? Yeah. That was one. Um. I thought that was the first one, to be honest. Mm. I would no, have thought no, it was three. Was... I was gonna. I thought I was gonna guess. I'm sure it was one before that. Yeah. Um. Was it when? Hmm. 
Are you sure it's not three? I feel like I've only one of those. I mean, it was three, now it's four. Oh, but I'm saying, I feel like it's only happened. Oh, yeah, it must, yeah, it must, no. I feel like it must have happened three times. I think there's been like one per mission so far. I don't know. I think we did pretty well in that first one. I feel but like. I think this, this, is, this is a great bouncing back of, I don't know, maybe, and I'm pretty <laughs> let's, sure, but perhaps let's... we could go into the sewers instead. No, I think we should all go to my YouTube channel, dicingcounters.com. Ah, watch and... every, every <laughs> yeah. minute. Can you do search text to speech and search for uh, Doom? <laughs> yeah, I'll search the scripts. Yeah, I'll take it. So are you are you restraining Krell in any way? Oh yes, he's uh -huh. he remains bound. Uh, w well, I don't know what w I don't know if uh, if Azuriel routinely carries manacles. He probably doesn't. Um, no. uh, but he but um, I don't know. We um, I don't know. <laughs> What have I got? Probably just is probably just tied up with with some rope, but being mm -hmm. being led by hand, um, sort Fine. of on the scruff of the ratty neck. Fine. Okay. Um, so the hole that it leads you uh, to, uh, none of you will be able to fit, basically, um, and it just kind of like stands by the hole looking really happy with itself <laughs> and then looks up at you at the down of the hole and just his smile drops and it says squeeze something try to squeeze in yes yes mm. or make hole bigger with magic with storm magic yes yes <laughs> oh I'm sure the uh... <laughs> I'm, I'm sure the uh, the conclave will be mightily pleased if we blow a hole in the in the sewer. <sighs> but it's also not the worst idea I've ever heard. I think they would be more. Uh, I think they would be even less amused if we knew there was a scaven infestation under the ground and did nothing about it. <laughs> Sometimes, to make a rat omelette, you've got to break a few sewers. I mean, that is a phrase in Azir. <laughs> That's what I was taught. Ah, uh, brother, you yeah, must have practiced yeah, in one of your tomes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did write it in the tome myself, but that doesn't make it any less true. Uh, be before blowing a hole in the sewer, Zuriel yes. will ask Krell. Yeah. I don't know if you've noticed, mighty Krell. But uh, this entrance does not appear to be of a suitable size. Are there any other entrances to the sewers before we are forced to make a noisy entrance? Um, I think it like screws up its face really tight, trying to think. Um, and goes, oh yes, yes, uh, this way, this way. A hole that is. Storm thing sized, yes. Um, and it leads you down a, an alleyway to a more of what could be described as a man made sewer entrance <laughs> for like at, for the, by the people who actually made it um, mm. with a big sturdy door on it. Well, that's uh, much more convenient. And uh, it is. It is easily opened by any of you strong folk. No, nothing in it. Anybody who was looking at Zuriel at, uh, at uh, Rixion uh, as we headed to this new entrance would have maybe spotted a slight sense of being crestfallen. That his, uh, <laughs> his sort of. He's, he's trying to be a bit different. He's trying to be a bit impulsive and Rambo and <laughs> gun ho in his approach to certain problems. Is he? And, uh, this, this, this time he did so, and everyone was like, "Yeah, well, we could like see if there's another one." Yeah, mm -hmm. weird for this party, like it's the one time. I know, right? Everyone's re everyone's swapping roles. I know. There's the new defoliant. How do we get it out the? How do we get it out the casing? Smash it with <laughs> <whatever>. hammer. <laughs> Obviously. 
Smash it. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So you descend into the sewers. Said to be. No. Oh, no. It's good that we asked because um, it was quite an easy workaround. <laughs> yeah. Hole. Got to keep you guessing. Got to keep you interacting. Nice. Um, so your footsteps give off a wet echo as you lower yourself down into the wide sewers beneath Anvil Guard. You are assaulted by the wretched stench of the city's waste immediately. Unidentifiable lumps, organic and otherwise, tumble lazily through the waist-high brown-green sludge that slops along the subterranean canals. Some form of horrific chemical reaction must be taking place in the sewage as long ribbons of an oily, bioluminescent substance ripple along its surface, filling the claustrophobic space with a sickly green hue. Lucky for you, cramped paths of slippery bricks run along the walls beneath the arch tunnels, keeping you out of the sewage itself. Mostly. Gross. Um, Zuriel would like to do two things. Three things. Firstly, he will complain. <laughs> Why is it that every time we are sent out in Sigmar's name, we end up covered in shit. <laughs> My brothers are out in the sunny deserts, enjoying the, the cool nighttime breezes as they fight in glorious battle. And here we are. Excellent. Second thing you'll do is ask, um, uh, Krell. Oh, Krell, from here, what are the directions to your master's laboratory? Um, it like looks around and scuttles around um, and I guess, I guess it's kind of like a dog on a lead it like tries to like pull you a little bit around so it can kind of get a bit more a bit more lead to search he's like searching the walls um, and sort of goes to jump into the sewage which obviously means that you can't hold it anymore um, do you just stop before it does, or mm -hmm. do you try and follow it in? I'm. Oh, master's... he definitely would stop it. Okay, fine. And as they just kind of like, Ugh! it's kind of legs go forward, <laughs> and he says, um... "It says, um, stop thing. There are symbols, sim hidden symbols on the walls that guide us to the to the laboratory. I must find them. Yes, yes. Uh, well, hang on, just just uh, just a quick moment there, singers." I've promised your safety, but still, do not trust you, for you are a mighty liar. Uh, and then he will open his mind to the to the ether and uh, search for the flow of magic, because presumably these chaos infusions from the laboratory and all of the the mm. the off flow are perhaps giving off a sort of scent of magic. He might sense with his witch side. Yeah, so the so the oily uh, ribbons uh, in the sewer is definitely giving off uh, warp magic, not warp magic. Ah, juju. Yeah, chaos magic. Um, but it's kind of all in. It's in all of it. Um, there's not really like one direction to follow, unfortunately. Okay. Well then, my friends, I leave it to you. How much do we trust this disgusting creature? Well, I was gonna say, Manassas is kind of, yeah, British, he's, she's got her enslaved, but if at any point he seems to, to make it clear, if anybody he's like, tries to flee, she'll enslave him instantly, but um, she will say to the party, um, well, if he knows the way, I can make him show us. If you're willing to let me uh, dabble in his feeble little mind, if we don't feel like he's being completely honest with us, do as you will. But I must remind you that I've given this filthy little creature my promise of safety in return for its information. He's not to be killed unless he gives us good purpose, of which I have no doubt he might. 
yes, I mean, why wouldn't you trust him? Snickers under her breath. Yeah, silly, silly man. <laughs> she relates more to the game than the rest of her team, you know. It's quite a, quite a thing. Um, I'm, I'm worried about betrayal number four for young, <laughs> for young Carrick. This is fine. This is going to shatter his little mind. <laughs> this, this rat creature would betray. So do we, do we feel afraid. like look at this app to me? Do you feel like he was the chosen one? The, does we feel he doesn't know the way or he's just not leading us correctly? Like he he's must trying to find the like the little like the, the basically the clues right. that they lead them give themselves to find their way. Because this is okay. not a entrance that they, they use normally. Right. Alright, well I'll give him a minute. Give him a chance. Give him a chance, yes. No, not let him go. Like again, stay very on him. Like he's not. Yeah, but Duriel physically lets him go so that he doesn't also have to. Oh, okay. Well then, but... fine. Well then, if that's if that's the worry, then yes, no, I'll enslave him and, and command him to find the symbols and find the way. Okay, that's what I'll do. So he's still under control. Uh, let me cast it to see how long we get. See, check it all works out all right. Um, num, 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 num. hey. I want okay. I want molasses to get like you know when you you know when you spoke to the demon in the Nurgle mansion. And it was like, ha, jokes, you spoke to the demon, you're now oh, corrupted. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I want that to happen, because Molasses is getting all up in these scaven brains. <laughs> oh, she could, she could take it. It's, it's more like lassoing like its scoop. brain. It's like a scoop yeah. of nothing. <laughs> I'll put some metal on there as well, so here we go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, that's not good. Is that one Bad, success? Uh, yeah. Get the focus. <laughs> Wow. Uh, so well, that's have, a fail. What do I have to oppose it with? Oh no, it's a. What's it? With? It's it's a it's a fail. So it's really surely right. not the you know, really. So it's poor. Have you not been able to overpower the mind of a well, not idiot this rat? One. I got the other one absolutely fine. I was just you know it was always going to happen. No, this is the one that you enslaved first. Oh yeah. Um, but yes. Yeah, so oh it's, it is yes. Zero, you you release, uh, let your hand off of Krell, and he jumps into the into the sewage. Um, pretty much, pretty much submerged, um, disappearing under the sewage for a few long seconds, um, and then appears out the other side, um, climbs onto the the other side of the sewage bank. And starts like scrabbling along the walls uh, with its hands, um, and then it like turns a corner uh, out of your sight. Uh oh, oh molasses! Do you think? Um, no. <laughs> and not because I can't; it's because I choose not to. You choose not to. Yes. I mean, there are no shadows here, unfortunately, because it's all lit up by the bioluminescence. <laughs> oh, of course. The bioluminescent oh, algae. When you said do your thing, did you be trying to cast spells or to cast or do something different? Uh, no, he was just like, ch chase that rat. Oh, well, I can chase, I can chase <laughs> he's, the rat. He's like, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm, not a, I'm not a runner. <laughs> Yeah, she's it's a real green off, isn't it? It's like, oh. he, he he's he's just not he just doesn't vibe with chasing rats through. No, sewers. it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> he's like. His thing. Well, I can give chase, yes, to make up for my failed failed um, magic skills, but is that even possible? Yeah, you can. Give chase. You have chase, to go through the chase. sewage. Mm, yeah, she's okay with that. She's been covered in worse. Okay, fine. Um, what exactly is worse than sewage? To be inside, in? Insides of things. <laughs> you mean you can find that in sewage? Well, exactly. Um, so first of all, make a 6-1 fortitude test. Oh god, fortitude? Cannot be a guile test. Fortitude? Fortitude? 6-1, oh. Yeah, that's... Sounds easy in theory, isn't it? Mm. Yeah! You've done it. So you managed to resist the, uh, the poisonousness of the sewage. Um, but it is, it is difficult terrain. Well, I oh. bet it is, yes. So, uh, even if you sprint, um, 
you have to end your turn in the sewage. Mm. Essentially. That's fine. I sprint. I'm gonna catch this rat. All right, and then we'll yeah. So we'll go to the next turn, and then um, do a six-one fortitude test again. Oh Jesus! Start a turn in in the sewage. Still definitely fortitude. Yeah, Can't I, do I, channeling. Just lo- I just love how you're scrabbling around in sewage when you have someone literally who has wings. <laughs> As well. But it's it's gone into the sewage, though, right? So the wings wouldn't really help, would they? I mean, you'd just fly over the down the tunnel. Well, <laughs> fine, but I'm just ready. I'm not nah. going. To no successes. All right, so you are poisoned, sir. Oh. Um, but you do you do manage to go around the corner uh, where Krell disappeared, uh, and. Uh, you cannot see him anymore. Uh, and all this, all it is heavily obscured as well down here in the sewers. Um, yeah, you cannot see him. Okay, well that that was um, quite the double failure for us, is there? Hey, but you can't say and try. That's true. Unlike we. Re- Everyone else in the party. Like everyone else in the party. <laughs> Could we reduce doom by one, but just for molasses, please? <laughs> for try for, for trying hard and being a good. You can being you a can good player. you can get your. Uh, <laughs> you can win your short term goal of giving a shit. To get, to get poisoned. That was my short term <laughs> goal. <laughs> to play the objective. Uh, but so it sounds like we're in like quite. A, but I mean, at least we have a bearing on. I guess it's still. I was talking about sewers. Obviously, we're talking about left and right, and all kinds mm-hmm. of walks and roads here. Mm, I've got no tracking abilities. Well, I yell out, "Oh, blight and damn it!" And I yell back at the party. Are you are you all going to do something, or are you just going to fart around? Uh, I was enjoying watching you swimming in shit, actually. Well, that's your prerogative. No, Caribou was definitely not fun. There he is. That's the man. Mr. Skaven boy. Painted a bit better than mine. (laughs) So what do you do? You've lost your rat. I wait for the party to catch up. Is there a path to uh, molasses that doesn't involve wading through sewage? Uh, no. It's like a, it kind of carries on, and then it's like a crossing, so it kind of splits. Uh... Yeah, I guess. I, I guess. This... <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. I'll follow. <laughs> Join me. It's, the the water's we'll, lovely down here. We'll fly above the surface of the sewage. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't need to do poison tests because it only affects uh, the turn, so unless you're planning to do any rolls whilst you're in it or the turn after. Zuriel disappears in a flash of lightning and reappears at the nearest platform that's not in the sewage. You could have taken me with you. I can't fly. <laughs> but you'd already gone. <laughs> you know, you started wading. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. Um, so you're all on the opposite bank now with molasses. Great. Welcome. This is my tunnel. It's covered in shit. Nice to see you all. And where is our good friend Krell? Well, I've got good news and bad news. What's the bad news? The bad, the bad, the bad news is that I don't know where he is. And the good news? I never said that was good news. <laughs> of course you didn't. <laughs> oh, so, the good news, Erixian, is that we have something else that we can hold over Molasses, Slaughter Shade, who failed to track a Skaven around one corner. And a lot of shit. <laughs> Don't forget that. <laughs> Don't forget the shit. Um, well, I didn't see you jump to your feet, your lazy bones. 
As right, you I told you. Carrick um... begrudgingly walks towards you. <laughs> Carrick climbs out of the shit. <laughs> Carrick, good of you to join us. <laughs> you need to just see him like wave his hand as shit spits out of his hand and sleeves and everything. <laughs> Oh, I got spit stuck all over your helmet spikes, helmet horns. I'm 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 picturing the bit in uh, Empire Strikes Back where they get out, Luke and R2 get out of the swamp, and then R2's full of mud, mm-hmm. and Luke's cleaning off the mud off him, and then he just goes and shoots it. a load of mud <laughs> out of a random porthole. That'd be it. Classic. <laughs> well then, what are you do? Um, anyone, I mean, he went this way, so we got his bearing at least. Anyone have any ability to, I don't know, track or figure out where he might have gone? I uh, don't suppose the witch site is any more help than before, now that we are around one corner. <laughs> Fortunately not. Um, no. I mean, there is the the tracking, what, is it nature or survi- no, survival, yeah. isn't it? Survival's the one. Are we going to say base test skill? Uh, I actually have a point in this, um, Boo. so I might as well. Yeah, yeah Zuriel will survey his surroundings. I like to think that his version of survival and tracking is still sort of yeah eth- etheric, looking for sort of you know imprints of the soul uh, <laughs> or something. I don't know on the uh, around. Um, but anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Some gay shit. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I quite liked it. <laughs> um, I loved it. That was just how you felt you had to defend yourself for saying so. <laughs> for, for, like, being enthusiastic about a role playing game. Yeah, I, I liked it. <laughs> right. Uh, DN, sir? Uh, let's do four. Um, so so I think you can follow the kind of wet sewage prints rat shaped um, maybe until the next corner where they dip uh, back in the sewage again to cross over to the other side. Now is anybody... I was hoping somebody would say it, but you haven't yet. But is anybody Mm -hmm. looking for these symbols that Krell was looking for to guide them? No idea what they'd even be. So, no. You don't don't remember? Crazy idea. (laughs) Symbols. I mean, I, I want to say yes, but no, not really. None of you... So you're all just wandering around the sewers. Well, well, I don't think I don't think as far as Harry is concerned, he literally just wants to distance. follow a path and get out. He's not going to go around looking for shit, literally. I, I would suggest that Zuriel would initially have followed the tracks, but if the tracks lead to nowhere, he might consider looking for other sources of information. Hmm. Uh, give us an awareness test then. What are that? It's gonna be annoying. Again, four. Yeah. Well, it is a paltry two successes. <laughs> um. Would you say that you are sort of examining the walls as you saw Krell do, or are you just? generally looking out for things uh, no I think I think once the trail goes cold he would have been like right this isn't working uh, and yeah ser- searching for the symbols fine um, okay so where you see on the opposite side where the, the tracks disappear you can see on the corner um, a kind of scratched three lines in the shape of kind of like a rough triangle um, actually, Zuriel might oh. recognise that as a filthy Skaven symbol if he's seen them before, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Sorry. 
Okay, robots. What, what was that? Don't know. Uh, I think that was the sound of Skynet coming online. Sound of it. <laughs> it's all over, guys. Well, it oh, is well. for Mikey P. Yeah. I'm Team Skynet. Put a lot of you. I guess. To be honest, what they write is, yeah, I'm, as well as I'm, I'm always right very there. kind to my Google home. Yeah. Um, no, I do tell off my robots quite a lot, I guess, but I see they probably don't very much. Uh, Suriel will relay the information of this sign to his party. Fine. Uh, so you do then follow that route? Yes, but via teleportation if required to avoid the sewage. Fine. Um, okay, so you managed to, to follow the tunnels and as you come across uh, various sort of twists and turns, you check the walls in the same manner and, and you find the the symbols and you manage to to carry on that way um, and then one second um, okay so what is your all what is your passive awareness again is it all like if you highest Ooh. like two, mine's two. Three. I think. I think three. I think Mike three. is three as well. Yeah, with the same. I got a three. I got a three. Oh, so I thought mine was three. Oh no, I'm two. Oh, I'm two. Yeah. Yeah, because you and I didn't see the uh, hooded figures. Remember? Mm. That was it. Losers. <laughs> All right. Um, so you approach this this sort of cross section uh, with a with a rickety wooden plank uh, across one of the across uh, one of the rivers of sludge, uh, and as you go to cross it, um, you will feel something fly out of the sludge and hit you. Yeah. Um, now let me just roll some of these. Uh, so, um, Carrick, what is your armor rating right now? Uh, my armor rating right now would be good. Good? Yep. And your armor is more than one right yep something pings out uh pings off your armor clatters to the to the floor and it looks like some sort of very um crudely cut throwing star um do the next one at molasses what's your what's your defense defense in term i just thought it's average Average. So we're looking Average. at fours. Uh, uh, what just happened in the music? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Get a character uh, asks as he's hit by a throwing star. Uh, 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 not me. Molasses, you've got one armor, right? I have one armor. All right. Yep, yeah, I think that doesn't hit Erixian either. Uh, Zuria, what's your defense? Uh, average. Uh, and your armor is two, right? Yeah, so. All these sort of throwing stars fly out of the sewage, uh, hitting you all but pinging off your armor. Um, Do a battle. Well. Where are the main characters? In that little green puddle. <laughs> Thanks to someone. Zuriel's. Uh, I think he's big again. I don't know whose fault it could be that you stepped into sewage. I don't know whose fault it could be that they didn't stop me. Well, now there's a thought. Sorry, is Zuriel responsible for your every action and mistake? Well, yes, since he's been sent here to watch over me. Is that so? 
seems to be as, the case. As he, as he watches over all of Sigmar's servants. Uh, and then another another round go through to <laughs> you okay? as well. Uh, I uh, had to do four sneezes in a row. Um, nope. Uh, oh, molasses. Yes. Oh, three successes against you. Good. Oh, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. It's fours because they're average. Uh, yeah, okay. Another round. <laughs> <laughs> the four throwing stars come out, give her, and just do not do not damage you at all. And these these scaven oh. leap out of the leap out of the sewage uh, at you, uh, completely uh, messing up their whole uh, surprise round. Um, uh, but their initiative is five. So uh, we're think... also like low defense as well. Like so, <laughs> these scaven just those are a bad day in the office. Yeah, I mean, they're only average, which is kind of lame. Doesn't average an average hit on four? Yeah, exactly. No. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, Azuriel, you're, you're initiative five, right? So you get to go first. Azuriel is initiative five. Mm. Um, well. I'm going to quickly do some zones. Yeah, show, show, me, show, me, show, show me some zones, and then we'll see what he does. I'll do it like this. So the the sides are all zones, and then the uh, sewage is is a zone. Okay. Uh, uh well, Zuriel will uh step off this rickety bridge for what. He doesn't fancy being on it, caught up in a little fumble. So we're going to sort of move over here, mm -hmm. um, and we'll then cast an arcane blast at this group of Skaven here. Uh, no, maybe he won't do that. Um, no, he'll just he'll just sling an arcane bolt. At uh, uh, this Skaven. Mm -hmm. um, spending a point of metal. Let's do a good. No, it's, a, it's a it's a poor roll. It's just the th well. Okay, so it's three successes, but each of those two sixes does an additional damage because of his devastating bolts. Okay. Um, so it is in fact five damage. Nice. So you give it a good, a good shooting. Um, a near, a, a, a severe wound, but it sort of hits back, and it's not quite dead yet. Um, Little bastard's not dead yet. Fine, <laughs> fine. Uh, then he'll use his other point of metal and um, cast uh, Mystic Shield on himself. Okay. Not wanting one of these shuriken to actually find its mark. Uh, which he does succeed. It is. It will be active for two rounds. Nice. No, nope, it'll actually just be active for just the one round there because it's a shite roll. <laughs> oh well. That's him done. Nice. I'm just actually double checking the because <clears throat> it's heavily obscured, which means everybody's blinded. Oh. Uh. Okay, that's fine. It just means that Millie accuracy and defense decrease one step. Okay, fine. Okay. Ah, Everything interesting. So decrease one step, yeah. Does that affect spellcasting, then? I don't think so, because you're not rolling that, are you? Nope. Sweet. Yeah. So you're cha -cha! <laughs> don't need ice. <laughs> Three with the beast. Um, oh, shit. Whoa! I'm moving the map here. What is going on? What is this? This is not in the map player. Go to the map player. Right. Watching what Daryl's doing with his hands. <laughs> He's just been doing this for like five minutes on it, just for himself, for his own benefit, for his own entertainment. <laughs> and and rightly so, I think. It's pleasing. 
which is good. <laughs> right, we're gonna do this like to get we can do this in, in groups. Uh, so we've got three of the Skaven on you, Zuriel. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm now defense good. Yes. Um, well, I think the defense, everything is reduced by one. Uh, defense, melee, and, and, and uh, melee. So, so essentially I'm back the same to average. thing. Effectively, nothing but, changes because theirs is poor. changed as yeah. well, right? Yeah. So, it's fives anyway. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. So they get forty-six on the attack because they have two weapons and one with their tail, because the tail's holding a knife. Um. Cool. So fives. Uh, one is not going to do it. One is not going to do it. And one is not going to do it. Moving on. Uh, we've got the two going into molasses down there. Oh, molasses, your defense is average. 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 So, that will be on, so that will be on threes. Uh, but two is your armor is one, right? Yes. Exactly. So you take one damage. Alright, that's fine. Um, and give me a 4 2 fortitude test with poisoned. I'm already poisoned. Oh no, sorry, it's, it's actually one plus success, so it's two damage. Um, you're only poisoned until the end of a turn. Oh, thank you. Uh, but you can, okay. but you're, you can be poisoned again now. Okay, well, okay, okay. that's very, very kind of you. <laughs> <laughs> Forced you there. Here we go. Why can't I find anything in my sheet? There you are. Horse Jude starts with an F. That's how these things work. Uh, was it four or something? Four two. Seems easy in practice, doesn't it? Oh, so close. You're poisoned. So what does that do for me for this, for this encounter? Uh, you get one less dice for all tests. Until the start of your next turn. Sorry, end your, end your next turn. Great. Um, and then the three in the sewers will do throwing stars at uh, Rixian, which, uh, oh, that's, uh, nope, still nothing, still nothing, oh, managed to get the three there, so that is, uh, that is one damage, to alarm you Rixian, is it? Take one, you take one damage, three successes. But my armor shouldn't be at one, it should be at two. That doesn't rec doesn't make a difference here, does it? Um, why is three successes the point? Am I big? Am I going mental? What's how's this attack working? So I've rolled three. I need fours to beat your armor, beat your defense. Sorry, I've got three it's four ups. Um, your armor takes two. So you take one and damage. I take one damage. Sorry. Yeah. For some reason, my brain literally switched off. <laughs> and just couldn't understand anything <laughs> for a moment there. That makes perfect sense. And we're all down one on melee and defense, right? So, yeah, gotcha. Except for the Skaven, they're fine. Um, uh, no, they're they're down as well. Um, pretty okay. sure because it's 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 heavily the whole thing is heavily obscured. So, but essentially, it doesn't make a difference if everybody's down one. So, okay. Well, yes. Yeah, so I recently takes one one toughness damage. Cool. Um, and then it's initiative four, folks. Ooh. Everyone's gone, so it doesn't really matter. We'll take it, really. Uh, I would like Erixion to fly into this crowd of Skaven and uh, unleash the light of Sigma upon them. Mm -hmm. Because that's worked so well in the past. <laughs> um, well, actually, so he'll do that as the, as the metal thing, uh, because we can get an extra roll of the dice uh, on a charge using the the talent, the the thing that I picked up that's the name I forgot, an unstoppable force. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll fly into this group of them here and with a with the charge uh, and therefore be rolling. Uh, five, six dice. Are you flying above them, or are you? 
in the sewage. I'm flying above them, so it's like, um, oh. is this a, a, a mob or are they three individual enemies? Uh, three individuals. All right, well, I'll head for the, the, the one on the right then. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, yes, slashing from above uh, with six chance cubes. Uh, I have two focus, however. So their so, their defense is poor uh, before modifying. So I think your your attack is good, right? Uh, Actually, they can only be reduced to poor. The, so the, oh, their defense is four before modifying, and they are they are modified down, are they? No, actually, because you can't get less than poor. So they're just still poor. Oh. Poor. Sorry, I thought you said four, oh, which doesn't make any sense anyway. Right, so hitting on uh, threes anyway, so the, the attack is good, yes. Um, so yeah, down to average, so yeah, threes. So yeah, that's uh, one plus successes, which is uh, one, two, three, four, and I can focus the two up to five. I can focus the two up to a three to make it a success, meaning five total successes. So six damage. Just enough to black one. Yeah. Yeah. Was that a stab or was that a, a a spell? That was the slash with my with my star blade. Nice. Uh, I spent my XP up. on I spent my XP on uh, another point of weapon skill. Mhm. Mm um, Tasty. Yeah, and then I'll use my metal to do a a light of sigma. Draw upon the holy light, searing light of Sigma to burn my foes. Uh, so we do a 5 1 soul brackets devotion test, which is five dices. Oof. Uh, so enemies in my, known, my zone suffer one damage per success, uh, and I can. Choose to suspend a metal to have the damage ignore armor, but I think that's a bit pointless here because they don't have much armor, do they? Actually, no. so they, you said they had defense four, armor four, was it? No, have I made that up in my head. That's when I was saying poor. <laughs> poor defense. Poor defense, like poor. <laughs> they definitely don't have four armor. You killed one with uh, with six with six damage. So I'd love to see them with four armor, considering our heavily armored Carrick only has three. <laughs> Uh, it's fucking super scaven. <laughs> cool. All right, so no, that's fine. So we do we do three uh, three damage to each one in my zone. Three damage. Okay. Uh, so they definitely get singed, sizzled a bit as you kind of boil the sewage with your light, holy light, and they get cooked. Um, okay, and then it's molasses, I think, and then, and then Carrick. Two turns, Carrick. Right here, right here, right here. Doki, let's let's do something. I think what we're going to do is, I'm just double checking that stuff again. Oh, it's not working. Moving out of combat is impossible. I can get hit as I'm moving out, or I can use a move to do something funky. Uh, yeah, we'll play it with opportunity attacks. I can't remember exactly what the rule is, but you can use an action to disengage without taking oh. any attacks. Okay, okay. Um, I then am going to use my action to cast Crown of Asphyxiation. Try and the old favourite. Sure. My favourite's been a little while, actually. It would be Flying very fish. asphyxiating down here, I imagine. <laughs> yes. And I love the, the game logic that it would affect my zone, which wouldn't affect a uh, character right next to me, but would affect everyone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't bring this up again. No, I, just, I'm letting you know what tickles me inside. I'm letting you know what I'm using, just so you know how I'm feeling, you know? <laughs> so here we go. Let's cast a little spelly spell spells, shall we? 
we go. A little 5-2. Nothing too drastic. Uh, yeah, I'll melt that bad boy. And I will... You reckon I'm at least focus on that. I'll just focus on that again. Ooh, see, that's lucky. It's not great. Ooh, yeah, lucky that. Cool, and he just, oh, he just got it. Yeah, that's fine. Right, yeah, so what happens? Got it. It's five, two. So, fixation, so, so uh, noxious fumes, difficulty of to stumble and choke each enemy of zone suffers one damage, ignoring armor. Um, okay. But the defense decreases one step until the start of my next turn. Well, it so, was already poor, minus one, so it doesn't. <laughs> it can't get any worse. <laughs> well, okay, fine. So, are they good at. Fine, whatever, fine. Wasted turn, that's fine. Um, but I will then. Um, well, actually, yeah, I can even like, move, right? Like, can I can I shadow step anywhere? Or shadow leap anywhere? It's my shadows move underneath that that bridge. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Choo! <laughs> Fuck out of there! Mm. All right, fog them and fog them and run. It's my move. So you're you're in the sewage again, right? Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant under the bridge. Is that, you didn't think of that? That's what I was smiling at. <laughs> no, can I do a classic hack <laughs> under the bridge? Uh, yeah, do me like a. Oh, God. Uh, do you want your athletics? Uh, yeah, go for it. Yes, I knew that one train that it's pretty good. DN1, I guess, like really easy. <sighs> sure, why not? Let's hand holds. Yeah, I'll go. Oh, I was joking for one. Do you want to make it a little harder? Two? Four? What do you, want? you can make it two if you want. Two, I'll oh, do. I'd imagine okay. it's. You know, it's quite a standard. Two, six, two six well, six. <laughs> Fine. That so works. Yeah. So right. struggled. Yeah. It's right. different. I did it. <laughs> Carrick, two turns. Uh, right. It two turns time. gone. Lose your right. shit at these rat men. <coughs> um, right, get... from here, um, uh, obviously, Serial seems to be... Uh, Surrounded, right? So I know that molasses just came here, but I think it makes more sense to just charge at the ones that are attacking Azrael since, since he's usually the uh, weakest one. So I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Now charging. Can I charge? Is are those are, those are two separate zones, right? Where I was and where I am now, or is it the same one? Yes, you're moving into the next zone. You're crossing cool. the yellow land. Right, so in that case I'll be charging, which decreases my defense by one, but increases increases my dice pool by one, I think it was? Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's do it. What's the DN? My uh, melee is good. Uh, down to average, because of the obscure. Uh, so threes will be. Oh yeah, I guess mine would be average now because of obscurity. Yep. Yeah. So three so still. Okay. Would have been twos, but it's threes. I still got one more, but that that really sucks. <laughs> Thing is, you get you, you get two damage base, which is like still really good. Mm. All right, so that's that's three successes if I use my focus. Mm -hmm. That's five damage, which isn't bad, but it's a lot less than what I thought it would have. Are you hitting the one that was wounded already, or one of the fresh ones? Yeah, no, the, the wounded one, uh, just to get rid of it. Yeah, then it's, it's super splatted. And then using metal. Um, I'll be taking another swing, obviously without the charge this time. Uh, yep. There's like some broken build you can do where you get like, I think there's a talent called Always Charging. Always Charging. And then there's something else where you can make a charge, you get like an extra dice, 2d6 or something on a charge. And... Yeah. Check it out. That's very Yormundy to me. Yes. Okay, that's better. It's a lot <laughs> better. So that's one, two, three. That's five successes if I use my focus. 
seven damage. Uh, you whack a mole again. Whack a rat. Smack the rat. I hate that sixes don't count in this game because I've been getting a lot of sixes today. Well then, get the talent for yeah. smooshy smooshy. Yeah, well, smooshy, smooshy. I only have so much XP. <laughs> Well, I mean, for someone for someone who spent like a hundred XP in being the most tanky, unkillable motherfucker in the game, you're still dishing out seven damage. Honestly, yeah, I'm a bit surprised. So I, think you, I think you're doing all right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is right. very true. Zuriel's initiative five. No, no, initiative no. Five, uh, no, no. Yeah, no, no, no now it's. Oh, that sorry. Was long turn. turn. That was... <laughs> all right, round two. From no damage, Bon over here. <laughs> <laughs> right. Take a swing at the, at the next one, because I can't yes. leave him. Uh, actually, if I move away from this zone, hmm. do, do, will I take an attack of opportunity, or is it, or am I safe because I'm not, you know? You're not in close, close. range. Yes. So I can leave. Yes. But I can only move one zone, and the other two are two zones away, apart from the ones that are next to Orixian, correct? You can use your metal to run. But I don't want to. So what I'll do is, from here, can I leap here? Into the sewer? Yeah, make that a charge attack. So, because it's difficult terrain, it will take up um, a metal to move into it. Because it, it basically, moving into a difficult terrain zone takes up a whole chunk of, of movement extra. Right, so it's, okay. it's, a, it's the same as moving two zones. Right, okay. Well, then in that case, I'll just go here and uh, use my metal to attack. Mm -hmm. Use metal to smoosh. Actually, wait. No, I'll move here. <laughs> And then I use metal to charge. Okay. So I get that extra thing. Yep. You're gonna need it. This is the tanky rat. Tanky rat. These we have six damage so far. <laughs> Actually, no, it's seven damage. Again, without even without yep. the. Uh, okay, it's dead. It's dead. Charge. It's dead. <laughs> it was already choking. How are you moving, charging, and still getting two attacks? I'm not. I only got one. That's it. So I charged from here. Previously, that's one action. Then metal for a swing. That's two. Oh, I think and I just misread I'm... the amount of great hammer posts. That's all. I was like, I thought you'd, put, I thought you'd done two, yeah. so I was confused. Yeah, but but that uh, was from the previous round. Yep. Yeah. So that's that's it. That's it. That's the end of my turn. Alright, cool. Zuriel. Uh, Zuriel just like turns around and is like seeing these smashed rats and no elf and is like what the? <laughs> It's awfully dark in here. Uh, he thinks. Uh, and yeah, he'll just uh, you can you can cast uh, range can you cast range range spells in melee? I think there's no penalty in this no, system. No, I don't think so. It's just just within the range. So yeah, he just like arcane bolt to the face of this rat. Nice. Use brat, your brat. use your use your Sigma standard. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. <laughs> Unfurl it in the in the, you might get sewage on it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Nah, he'll just keep spell slinging. It's a, it's it's a good vibe. Uh it's going to be it's just three successes for that one. So that is uh, a a piddly three damage. Mm, yes. Um, so frustrated by this, he will. Uh, you can focus that five to a six. Does that make a difference? Uh, that does actually. Yes, that's a smarter use of the focus because I can't make the two a four. Uh, yes, that makes it four damage. Is the rat dead? No. <laughs> then he is still frustrated <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, attempts to lay out the bastard with a thunderous strike as his temper frays. Nice. Yeah, you haven't got a big hammer. He didn't need one. Kinda seems like you do. 
Kind of seems like it's a good job he's got focus. Because <laughs> otherwise that would be a failed spell. However, he does uh, uh, smash the rass in the face with a lightning wreathed fist. Nice. Um, and it does three damage, ignoring armor. It's dead. I like to think of it Is as it like an uppercut, and then it just goes up and then just falls back in the sewage again. Like maybe like sizzles a bit in the air and then like. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Zuriel nods with satisfaction and then continues looking for wherever that wherever that pesky elf <laughs> went. There's <laughs> a bit in. Um, Do you want me? In the first beast oh, arises. The pesky elf. <laughs> in the first beast arises book, and there's like a line of imperial fists just like killing these xenos, and it's just butchers' works. So they're all just using their blades and power fists mm. and whatever. And then they start to like, actually starts to they start to send some bigger ones, and the Imperial mm. Fist is like having to switch to his bolt gun to actually use bullets for now instead of <laughs> saving yeah. his bullets because he doesn't need to use it. That's what I felt like you did. You were like, ah, it, it's like sing, sing. This is far. Hang on, now just like winding yeah. it up. <laughs> not waste of energy on these rats. Get the, the big magic. Yeah, not getting the standard dirty. <laughs> um. So the remaining rats will do disengage actions and plop down into the uh, into the sewage and swim away. Dun -dun. Little shit. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> sure. Yes. What? I lowered um, their defense. <laughs> that was that's what broke them, I think. I think mm -hmm. so. Uh, nice. Um, and you can continue to follow the follow the signs. Um, Are we able to follow them? Absolutely not. Not. Um, Alex, I don't know if you know, but you're muted. Unbelievable. Have you been talking all this time? <laughs> I don't remember when I muted my mic. <laughs> oh, I hate that. I wondered why people were saying what I was saying. <laughs> Classic. Oh. Oh, well, so um, so the, the, we can't follow the rats. They've literally melted into the poo and we can't see them anymore. Well, they went um, that way. Well, you assume that from where Ollie moved the tokens, but yeah, I don't think we actually <laughs> saw them go in a direction other than under the poo. All right, <laughs> under the poo. Is that correct, OP? Yes, it is correct, and none of you have thermal vision, so under the poo. Is anyone have thermal vision? Stop. I've got um, skin. Laser maybe eyes. if this was if this was cyberpunk RP, then maybe. Oh. Uh, hey hey hey! It's not happening. Maybe no you have a periscope attached to your face that you could stick in there. <laughs> um, it's still right. a possibility eventually. Maybe. Go on, Daryl. Uh, Go on. Go ahead. Let's continue following the symbols then. Do it. Okay, I'm just needing to rearrange the next, the next scene. Um, in the next episode. Yeah. Uh, imagine if we became the most successful Warhammer centric actual play series of all time. <laughs> I mean, we may already be that. It, for, it, it for could happen. Know. <laughs> no, there's definitely like one or two that bloody bloody dice breakers did a. The one shot, didn't they? Nah, fuck those guys. Ice breakers in the same way that it's Tesco's and Sainsbury's. <laughs> like... <laughs> it, it is, or as my uh, my aunt used to say, Marx's, which uh, I always oh. thought was, which Marxist. I always thought was just unnecessary. Deliciously yeah. close to Marxist as well. <laughs> <laughs> Marxist Spencers, I'd love that. Oh, we should start calling it. That's where I would fucking do my shopping if it was an oh, option. Oh fuck yeah. It's probably what angry Daily Mail right readers call it, though. I mean, if, is there anything more champagne socialist than Marxist Spencers? 
<laughs> nah. Uh, uh. The shop made for Milo's. Look, you say you, you say you care about people, but I see that you've bought something at Mark Spencer. I see. Mark's I see that Spencer. you've had a nice bacon sandwich this morning, so you must. Hate you must the hate the poor too. Yeah. Like, no, I like just hate pigs. The thing is, I really like pigs. I just hate pigs. <laughs> Serious sort of conflict. conflict. Is that really cute? Just want to give uh, them a cuddle. Yeah. Not when they're all muddy and shit. But the thing about pigs being loving to roll in mud and shit is that that's not natural. That's only because uh, we've... We've uh, basically domesticated them to be in pig farms in open land. Pigs and boar evolved to be in forests uh, where it was cooler. Um, and they didn't need to like constantly roll in mud and water and shit to keep themselves cool. But because we built pig farms on open ground and didn't give them much shelter and didn't give them much water, they had to get all shitty and muddy. <laughs> We built this pig farm. A pig fact for you. Yeah. The point is, they're not disgusting, dirty animals. They're very clean animals. No. They're very, like, uh, boisterous, sometimes destructive animals, but they're not inherently disgusting and dirty. We just have uh, tended to keep them in places where they end up having to make themselves dirty just in order not to become ill, dehydrated. Well, yeah, it's like chickens don't normally grow to, like, massive size in six weeks. They don't normally crisp up the way they do in my burger, either. Like, it's just not natural. <laughs> That's also true. Um, anyway. Back <laughs> that was an interesting a... tangent. <laughs> That's what happens when I take the afterball and uh, do some GM work um, behind the scenes. Uh, so you, right? We'll do this. We'll do this text box, and then we'll end. Um, as you wind your way through the stinking sewers, you notice the sound of rushing water coming from up ahead. Just above it, you catch the muted sounds of chittering and rusted tools scraping, scraping against untreated wood. Um, and you come through a tunnel into an opening. And you are see a scene full oh. of rats. Oh no! Oh oh god! Oh, look at the big guys. Um, so these big ones are uh, actually swarms of plague monks. Oh no! Um, you've got no. some with um, like sense sensors that they're swinging around. Oh, um, monks. Okay, right. So they're different. They're, 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 the big ones there are swarm plague monks. So how many? Yeah. How many? Ten. Ten in each blob. Ten. And um, these are all those plague old backpacks. And... Yeah, these ones have, like, backpacks, and they've also got, like, gas masks, and they're carrying these orbs. They, um, they uh, look like fucking... the broken ones that you have. They're fucking rat ogres at the back there. Yeah, and at the back, um, yeah. you see nice. you see some cages, and inside the cages you see um, uh, some giants, silver death giants, Oh. In various states of like white dog pooness, um, and then beside the cages you have the two rat ogres with these huge cannons that are dripping this glowing green defoliant stuff, um, and then on top they've of got, the cages, they've got them at gunpoint. Yeah, and then on top of the 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 cages, um, you see a, a rat. Uh, who is um, why is this image so small uh, these <laughs> I don't know why this image is so small I think you can make it go larger <laughs> can you well they, they've got they've got like oh, fucking out. letters that are like 10,000 pixels across uh, oh, this <laughs> like is, this 50, is... 50 megabytes for a handwritten note and then this, this is, shit <laughs> this is this is an official official imagery unfortunately Okay. This is Google Image. Yeah. 
Um, but uh, this this rat holds aloft um, a glowing green luminescent globe that was very much like the one that you found, Serial, the, the shattered one. Um, a lot of baddies. And it says... Um, and it yells out at you across the, the, fl- the flowing water. No need to sneak creep, small braids. Uzik knows you are there. Let us squeak speak like the clever smart ones we are, or the tree things die. Sorry, what? <laughs> Can you say that again, please? Didn't catch a word of it. He said we should squeak speak. <laughs> I don't then, know if we can, but yeah. And then we'll uh, we'll end it there. I think. Well, well, well. What a great place to stop as well. Zing. Um, all we need now is some rattling gunners. Uh, <laughs> where the hell's where's buddy Victor Salt's pie when you need him? Who's that? I wish I had a better icon. He's he's the Inquisitor from Vermintide. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, nice. Oh, you mean Witch Hunter? That's what I meant. They're definitely they're definitely <laughs> very different things, and they're totally no different things. Mm-hmm. I've, I mean, I'd really quite like it if they had the same voice actor for uh, Dark Side, just so I could be like, yeah, it's cool. I'm playing the same same character. Man, I cannot fucking wait for that game. Well, Are you're gonna, gonna have to wait till fucking September. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. We're gonna play okay. together, right? Be great. Dark Side, the game that I'm most excited for out of any video game. It's uh, it's been my wallpaper for like three months. Has it? Yeah. Oh yeah, I've been. I don't know if I've walked through your room and seen it, so I would know. Dark Side. You sure what Dark Side dark, is? That dark, dark, dark Tide. It is. It is dark. Fat Shark, the makers of Vermintide's <laughs> 40k Vermintide. That is basically oh, going to be yeah. the exact yeah. same game, but with guns. But with 40k. With, with nerdly cultists. I mean, it's going to be exactly yeah. what our party would be like going through one of our dungeons. Yes. In it's... Yeah. No. It's just. I hope, I hope there's a hand flamer, and I hope it's OP. Oh, I mean, yeah. there, there, there's there's a there's a priest, so there's got to be a flamer. But also, the priest gets a thunder hammer. So. What? <laughs> Alex, if you oh. in Elden Ring, Elden Ring, if you come across the cardinal s that have got them. They've got the oh, um, it was so close. Braziers on their heads. The Braziers, yes. <laughs> and they fire the fire out of the head. Have you fought them yet? You you uh, mean the the like trailer things with the massive massive? Head no, thing? although that's no, it's um, they're they're in a few places. They're usually in a little camp of like, other little red robe dudes. There's usually a bigger one. But he's got a big Brazier. He'll like spew. He'll charge him up just spewing fire, or he'll bend over and like, poof, fire a big cannibal at you. It's very. It's, and if I had, I would have immediately been like, yes. it's the Cardinal. It's very, it's very Cardinal. So look out for that. I sure Elden Ring will. Chat over. Also, everyone else played. Why are you playing Elden Ring? Everyone else played. Very strange. Isn't everyone done with Elden Ring yet? I thought it was like last week's thing of interest. <laughs> Haven't you heard? Yeah. It's the best game ever. So obviously it lasts forever. Yeah, it was like it was when awesome. PUBG came out and it was like, the next 10 months was just PUBG. Oh yeah, that was relentless, different. wasn't it? And Apex. And so many other no, games. No, no, PUBG was like. Million dollars. Every day we had to write about PUBG. Oh, Fortnite is still a thing. And that's been the thing for years now. Yeah, but not a mainstream gamer thing. Elden Ring's not in the news so much, but it's people are still playing it. Like, people are still like, I just beat Margaret. I'm so bad. <laughs> yeah, we probably have a little while to go still on hearing people talk about Elden Ring. Real, real people are starting to no, Do you it think on you're very negative towards the concept of the game at all? Do you not, are you not interested in playing it? I personally actually am interested in playing it. I'm just sick to death hearing relentlessly about it. Like it's the mm. only thing happening in the world. Yeah, every I meme, mean, every comment, going, every item yeah, of discourse, every news article. I don't give a shit what you think about how many times you have to hit a fucking wall and if you like from <laughs> software's design philosophy or not. I just don't care anymore. That stuff is very boring. That's how I feel. Yeah, yeah I have to agree. The problem, the problem with you there, you see, Milo, is that your uh, IP has a big label on it that says gamer. Um, and that means that you are interested in gamer news. Yeah. I also browse video games news websites, both for leisure and for Actively, work. Actively, without even being forced. Yeah. So, it's, it's yes. Sick, I'm just. what it is. It's an it, illness. It, it, 
The, uh, it's one of those games where I was like, I, I might end up playing it at some point, although relatively unlikely because it's not my genre, but but maybe. But at some point, the enthusiasm, because everyone was so excited about it, has turned to just weariness of like, God, I wish someone else would bring out a fucking game. No, so there are no other games. I, I didn't like it because I was looking forward to playing Horizon, and then everyone was like, oh yeah, it's really good. And then Elden Ring came out, and it's like, oh. Horizon is nothing compared to this game. Horizon just reuses the same old shit. And she's got fucking beard or something. Elden Ring is amazing because a woman hugs you in the game. Oh, it's so great. <laughs> quang, quang, she quang. does. <laughs> I got I got uh, because she got her, she got her puppets. I, I uh, would venture to suggest that both games might be good. But I, I agree. I, I, I agree but that only, they... only one has a, a circle jerk around it for eternity. That's true. Um, true. I, uh, That's true. I'm looking forward to playing the Horizon games. I still I will want to play the first one on PC and haven't yes. found the opportunity to try it out yet. Anyway, mm. sorry. My pee needs to go. That was really fun. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you super fun nice. session. Yeah, that I, was, I really enjoyed that a lot. Big, yeah, big, if, you, if you kept a hold of Krell, actually, he would have you would have been able to catch these guys in a more advantageous position, but unfortunately... Uh, All right. <laughs> they were, they were now, they were warned. his mind very well. Well, well maybe someone should have let him go. Maybe the party shouldn't have elected collectively to let him go. Maybe and then the, Molasses should have caught him. Maybe the party oh. should have uh, tried to catch him. <laughs> Rather than... That was such a was weird so moment. I've never seen you all just be so lazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. I just assumed that molasses oh. would successfully catch him. Well, I know I'm pretty well, The problem was we all had so even, much faith in molasses. Even gods can fall. Control minds. We know. And do we didn't want to get covered in shit? Yes. Yeah. You can teleport. Two you can teleport. One can fly. Karak, have you got any like throwing hammers? No. Uh, nope. Oh well. Not you're, you're excused. Uh, Zuriel likes a challenge anyway. Let's let's battle through these swarms of plague monks. Uh, that should be oh. that should be a hoot. They have some great they have some great abilities. That I'm very much looking forward to. There's like seven different data sheets here as well. I literally, I'm playing a game of Warhammer right now. This this is a DM's dream encounter by the looks yeah. of it. And it's like all oh, the zones are actually officially mapped out. It's all very exciting. Oh yes, yes. DM oh slash yes, you didn't even notice that. This is quite DM a slash Wargamer is perfect encounter. <laughs> <laughs> like because it is a game of Warhammer, you <laughs> you're gonna yeah. like capture the objective. Who's yep. got obsec? <laughs> yep, gonna right. use my strategy. Me, to be fair, Carrick actually does have obsec. Yeah, he does. Right. That is literally part of his uh, data sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Right, Come on, so, but he keeps moving. Talk to you later. Right, he See does. Ya.